<laughs> so here oh! we go, ladies and gentlemen. France Ooh. versus Spain. And Gregoire Gotardi in the blue corner. He's been here before. He's 2-0 and oh in the Senshi ring. But our Spanish fighter in the red corner, Manuel Pereira, he looks hungry and confident. Now, under 70 kilos, but these guys look big for that weight. I'm joined once again by legend Albert Kraus. Gotardi's very powerful, Albert. Yeah, I saw some, some good fights from here. And yeah. I mean, I'll address the elephant in the room. You know, he's got a very long body and short legs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe his, his nickname could be Gregoire the Giraffe Gotardi, but... Yeah. But there's the neck. Uh, there's none of my business. No, there's the neck. The, <laughs> well, okay. But, listen, you know, all those comments aside, he is a great fighter, but he took a straight right there. Um, but I do like the way Gattardi fights because he always comes, he doesn't hold back, and, you know, you can see from his tattoos that he's trained Muay Thai for yeah. a while. But he's here now fighting with KWU with their Senshi full contact rules, which is kickboxing rules. So no elbows, no clinch to speak of. And only uh, one knee. One knee in the clinch, but they have adopted this five second rule, we, which um, I'm not sure about. It was something that Glory sort of adopted. Five seconds if you're holding. But you still see the 70 kilo fights are really attractive to see. Huh? Yeah, they're busy. Yeah. And at this level, they're powerful as well. Yeah, for sure, yeah. And this pace, they've been very busy. We're, we're, uh, we're approaching 30 seconds left of the first round. And it's interesting, you know, you. You've got to sort of pace yourself. You can't go uh, fight like a maniac for three rounds, three threes. But you don't want to leave anything in the no, tank. No, no, no. But this is something that really has to be good, your condition. I think I've never lost a fight on condition. Yeah, I think that all the top guys say that they would they rather die than lose because yeah, they're gassed out. For sure, yeah. And um, but on your condition, yeah, you have to work and you can work. So it's for me, it's not acceptable, acceptable to lose on condition. And what what's uh, so we're just in between that round. And just uh, just before we go into that. I'm going to give that first round to Gattardi in the blue corner, just by a smidgen, and I'm not a, I'm not a judge here, so you know my word isn't gospel. Yeah, no, but yeah. they were both very even, yeah, both yeah. very busy. But good, I feel that Gattardi again a good matchup. It's a, it's a little bit equal. They're uh, they're really the same level fighters. Uh, it's nice yeah. to watch. Well, it's interesting you say that, Albert, because. I, on the last event, I mentioned how great and even the matchups yeah. are. But you're not, you know, it's difficult. You can match two two guys who are terrible and have a great fight. Yeah, there's also. You can have yeah. two guys who are brilliant and have a boring yeah. fight because yeah. because of the matchmaking. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to have a little bit uh, difference in the skills and in the the level. <laughs> So, the Spaniard here, he's looking sort of, he's looking twitchy and busy, short, sharp techniques. And the Frenchman Gattardi here, he's, it looks like he's trying to work him out to land a power shot. But one thing I've said this evening, and I notice, apart from any Dutch fighters, when you watch kickboxing, 
they're looking for that single shot all the time. Yeah. And they're not, they're not going not boom, 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 finish yeah. with a low kick. Yeah, not too much combination. Well, Gattardi here is looking absolutely super focused. Well, they're busy, but they're still not. They're still not setting anything up. No. I'd like to see them using, you know, being a bit clever, moving some sideways movement back in. One of them, I mean, Gattardi looks like he can do it. Back his opponent into a corner. You only see the kick, kick, kick. You don't see combination with the hands, following with the leg. And I think... FD is one one. I mean, is it... It's interesting, you're saying this about the punches, because, it, I mean, in my limited opinion, you were probably the best boxer in, of your K1 era. And in fact, you did, you did box professionally. Yeah, after after K1. <laughs> yeah, but but but, but everybody thought I did boxing before, but I found I uh, yeah, I like the boxing. Yeah, I like also to see it. If I see somebody who's a good boxer, yeah, it's always for me uh, nice nice to watch. Yeah, I say they always have a good style and yeah, but I think you're you're. I mean, you've got, you, you've got someone like Ernesto, who he's a true kickboxer, and he's kicking with, with the damaging uh, yeah. techniques. But yourself, you know, you had that, even at your weight, you had that knockout power. Yeah, I think... Uh, Dynamite hands. I have uh, 79 knockouts or something. Is that all? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so there we come to the end of the second round. In the fights. Wow. I don't, I don't in the ring, I don't, not, yeah. not on the street. Yeah. No, not in the gym. <laughs> So, and were you ever knocked out? Um, in, in a fight? Yeah. Yeah, never stay on the ground, but always was standing up in eight combat. They, sometimes they, they calm me out. So TKO but I was always, never yeah, knocked out? I yeah. was always stand, uh, stand up. I was always standing uh, after eight counts. Right. So that's the end of the second round there. Very busy again. Um, and like Albert says, Gotardi's throwing kicks, kicks. Um, there you saw in that replay a short yeah. punch that wasn't committed. No, but if they... Second out. They plant the kicks with the hands, so they first they use the hands, and they're following with the kicks. I think it looked it look nice for the audience and for the judges, and it feels good for yourself. You got a rhythm. To make some rhythms. Yeah. But, yeah, you, but you've got one, to finish one, with something one, powerful. Yeah, yeah. One, one, everything one. This has to be one. One kick. One kick. If you throw, throw two or three hands before it, it looks much nicer. Yeah, yeah. And like you say, shines shines in the judges' eyes. Yeah. Even if they don't hit, if they touch the, touch the card. Yeah. So, a very difficult one to score, if I'm honest. That's yeah. To be honest, I don't give away any scores man, today. <laughs> well, <laughs> the other one I did, I did it wrong, so. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't make any mistakes man, today, or it has to be very clear. So if you don't make it, if you don't give it, if you don't give an opinion, you can't be wrong. No, yeah. So, right, well, that's a minute gone in this third round. France versus Spain here. Um, Spinning back fist there, it falls to the ground. There's a little bit of tiredness coming in. Gattardi looks the fresher of the two. And there you feel that when he was close in there, he could have thrown a big left hook. Yeah, but everything is one. But then make two kicks or something, or do a little bit more action. Everything with one, one kick, one kick. Whoops. Get, uh, and I think you see his arm already. He hurt his arm with the left kick. You see his arm. Very red. Bit, yeah. yeah, it's red, and you see how he, how he, how he keeps it. But kick, 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 go on. Level up. Yeah, and now we're, we're approaching a minute left, and I'd like to hear 
Both corners tell their guys one minute. You've got a minute to go, you're on the world stage. Don't leave anything left in that tank. No, yeah. Everything when you, what is over after the fight is too much. And, he, and even when you think your gas tank's empty, you've yeah. still got something left, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, of course. I think the mind will always give out before the body. Yeah, I, I think also getting tired is also an emotion. You can go through it. Wow, that's deep. Yeah. That's a I think, I think if you have a good heart, a really fighting spirit, I said, as I already said, I'm steal, I, I've, I'm never lost, I've never lost on condition. And even I have always the, the, the best condition, but in my heart I can go on. And every fight I had with an extra round, I win the extra round because then I really can give everything. Wow. That was Go brilliant. I'm going to steal that, Albert. I don't, I'm, I'll tell you now that I'm going to steal that. The tiredness is, is an emotion. Um, and I'll expand every, every time you use it, send me some money. <laughs> I'll, send, I'll send you three euros. Yeah. So there's the end of the third and final round. And a very busy round again, but I'm not sure how much of the business was damaging. Yeah. Um, and while we're waiting for the scorecard, oh, a special announcement for all of you guys here today, and I'll, also for all of you watching at home. Well, listen, I've, I've got to, I've got to say something about this, but I, I feel that the judges so put that in the calendar, are going to give the, are going to be right looking at draw, a draw here. Close. I wouldn't be surprised if we see an extra no, round. No, 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 no. And I yeah. think, I think the fight deserves it to decide who the winner is. Yeah. If we had to give a decision after three rounds, I'd give it to the blue corner by a tiny margin. But uh, I want to see an extra round. We will hear it soon. And we have the official Very score soon. for the judges. Judge number one, 30 to 27. Ooh. Judge oh. two, 30 to 27. So oh. they have a winner. And judge three. 30 to 29 for it's unanimous unanimous. in favor of the blue corner. Wow. Good party. Well, I thought it was closer than that. Yeah. Um, the fight was busy. A lot of single shots. You know, I'd like to have seen a bit, a I bit think more combinations. Too much single shots. Um, and you can see both fighters bodies and heads now yeah. there's no real damage at the end of oh, it yeah. and i'm not saying that nobody gets hurt in a fight uh when you're getting punched and kicked about the head and legs an extra round probably was deserved but the frenchman now leaves the century ring with a century record of three wins and no losses He's going to go home very pleased. And you see in the ring there, that blonde, gorgeous girl is his fiancée. And she said to me earlier, she doesn't care if he wins or loses, just as long as he doesn't get hurt, which was very, very sweet.